Hi, this is Ford Sakes from PrimeConcepts.com and you're seeing two screens right now because I'm actually getting ready to do a short vMix tutorial on how you can add a timer overlay into your setup. Now, for those of you that are on my private consulting package, uh, I'll work with you one-on-one -on -one to set this up, but I wanted to create this video tutorial and I also thought it would be helpful for those people that might be just searching on YouTube to figure out how to actually do this. So now, I've got a very elaborate vMix setup with Stream Deck, but for today's tutorial, I've just got the main camera and a couple assets. So for those of you going through the review, remember, if you wanna make something that work, you have to work first in vMix, set all your inputs and assets up, then create shortcuts, and then assign those shortcuts to a Stream Deck button so that you can just seamlessly switch back and forth between cameras and different screen views, pictures and picture and so forth. All right, so let's get started. How do you actually add a timer overlay? Let's say I'm getting ready to go for a break or it's the beginning of a, of a presentation. All you have to do is click Add Input. Now, I've already added the input in here. It's called a timer input, but I wanted to show you how I actually found it. So you just go to Add and then Timer and then go across the top here. There's all different types of timers in vMix. Now the one I selected was this one. I'll just go ahead and do a blue one just so that it's a little bit different. And now you'll see the blue one. But now you have to set the timer up. What do I want the timer to do? Well, I don't want a clock. I actually want a timer. So I'm gonna go over here to Countdown and Settings. And let's say I wanna set a, uh, we'll do this one for uh, 10 minutes. And I want it to display 10 minutes. And so I only want it to be minutes and seconds. That took me, what, no time at all. There's our timer. But now, how do we get that timer to actually overlay and play properly? Well, there's a couple tricky things. You can do it so many different ways between shortcuts and triggers, but I recommend setting up one trigger. And the one trigger I want you to set up is click the gear and first go up to the name and name your timer. So I'm just gonna give it a name, simple 10 minute blue timer just so I can remember what it is now I'm going to triggers and now what I want this to do is when it overlays out so on transition uh, excuse me on overlay out because oh, this is an overlay when the overlay goes out I want it to stop the countdown so I'm going to title and stop countdown. Now, if you're new to vMix, this is going to be way over your head. I suggest you either hire me or hire someone else to help you set all this stuff up. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to the name that the, the one we just did, which is going to be this number five, this 10 minute timer, because I know it's the input that I just created. And now we're going to click add. So now we've got a on overlay out. We want to stop the countdown. So there we go. Blue timer. And if I go back into that now, you'll see it says 10 minute blue timer. So it's it worked. It just needed a refresh. Okay. So what do we do? We added the timer and we added a trigger. Only took a few seconds, right? Now I need to program a button in Stream Deck to make the timer work. Now I've already done all this work on the red timer. So follow along. I'm just going to minimize this. We're going to go back to the red timer. We're gonna go look at it and you're gonna see if I go to general, I'm renaming it, we'll call this 10 minute red timer, similar to the what we were just talking about. And then we're gonna to go to triggers and on overlay out, stop timer, stop what timer? Well, we want the 10 minute red timer and now that's done. So now that timer is completely set up. So just forget the blue one, I did that for the tutorial, but we're gonna use the red one because I've already got it programmed. Okay, so the first thing is we want to decide where do we want that to show up on the screen. Well, you go to position and you can drag it around. You can see it moving in the background to wherever you want it to show up. Now, you can also use the zoom button and make it bigger, or you can use the pan X, which is left and right, or the Y, which is up and down. The other ones I suggest you don't mess with, or you can hit reset all and it'll put it right back in the middle of the screen. So now I gotta move it back up to where I want it, which is in the upper left-hand corner and that's probably about the size I want it. Okay, but now I want it to actually play. I want it to come into the screen, right? I want it to actually look like this and start counting down. So how do I actually get that all to work? First, I'm gonna go back to position again. I wanna move that, it's a little bit in the way. Okay, so we've just set up our timer asset and we created a trigger that when the overlay goes out, we want it to stop the countdown. So that's the first part. Now we need to set up some triggers. Mine are already set up, but I'm gonna show you what I set up. We're gonna shortcuts. Forget all these other ones in here that you see, just you're not gonna have any of those. 
Let's come way down here to the bottom where you see this one right here. This is 10 minute timer. We're gonna click edit. This is the stream deck button I wanted, which is 78 ADF. Just when you click find, you'll find your own button. So I'll do that real quick because I'm gonna program it to the same button. I click find and you can see there it is. Now, what do I want it to do? I want it to overlay. I don't want it to replace what's on the screen. I want the timer to overlay, which means I have to tell it to overlay. There's four inputs in here. I'm just picking number four for whatever reason, just per personal preference. You can put it on one, two, three, or four. Overlay input number four. Okay, that's what we want it to do. Now, what asset do I want? Well, I want the red timer. I don't want the blue timer. I'd have to pick the blue timer. You can do that too. Then you name it and you click OK. But you'll notice down here, there's a second, there's a second shortcut on the same button. But if you just look at it, it makes sense. The first button says, bring the timer in as an overlay. The second shortcut on the same button at the same time says, start countdown. And remember, we already stopped the countdown on the trigger. So now it's all set up. Here I am on the camera and pretend the, the right side where you see my camera, that would actually be what was output to Zoom or Microsoft Teams or Chime, Amazon Chime or whatever web program that you're using. I'm just showing you the whole vMix setup because if you're watching this tutorial, chances are you already know what I'm talking about. So now I wanna bring the timer in. I'm gonna go ahead and push the physical button on Stream Deck. The timer comes in and it starts to count down as an overlay. Now I want the countdown timer to just count, but if I stop the timer, I actually want it to stop and restart at 10 minutes. You could actually do whatever you want. If you wanted to keep the timer and then hit the button and stop it and start it, it does whatever you tell it to do. So what I want you to remember is when you're working in vMix, there's only three parts, right? You have your assets and you can create scenes out of multiple assets. Like right now you're seeing my HD camera and you're seeing my company branded frame. That's just a scene. And if you look down here at this setup, which I only have five things in this setup, it's very simple. You'll see I have number one is the timer. Number two is my camera. We'll put that up on the screen. Number three is just a blank frame. Number four is my scene with my frame. And number five is that. So you can see those, these are just assets down here. But if you actually go look at the actual frame, this one, if you go to the gear and you look at layers, you'll see it has two layers. The first layer was the camera. The second layer was the frame. Now, for those of you that might be like, I don't understand what the heck he's talking about. You can go to ProfitRichResults.com forward slash wow factor. Okay, so that's the tutorial on how you add a timer overlay.